G'day folks, on to the next project. So today, I've got a little bit of a dilemma with the jockey wheel on the caravan, which I need to address. And part of that is that I've, well there's a couple of issues. One, the caravan's been lifted, so it's higher than it was originally. And secondly, I've fitted um, a caravan mover to it. And the problem when you put a caravan mover uh, which is a set of motors mounted behind the axle that drive the wheels with the use by the use of a remote control um, you then have the problem that the jockey wheel it tends to want to dig itself into the ground if the ground's soft at all um, the it's a bit problematic driving it around on wet grass or something like that so that seems to have been addressed a couple of the manufacturers arc and uh, magnus magnatech have brought out dual wheel jockey wheels to increase the surface area on the ground and you can either get those in pneumatic or solid tyre wheels but all of the ones that are on the market currently are swing up and I don't have room for swing up on the caravan because we've got weight distribution hitch on it that doesn't leave any room for the swing second thing is the length of the wheel it's a fairly substantial so let's just have a bit of a look at that So here's the caravan mover. Um, I'm a bit surprised how many people actually don't know about these things. I've talked to a few people and they go, a what? Um, and they've actually, you know, got rid of their caravans because they can't move them anymore. They're getting on, getting too old and it's physically too disabling. So this is a, a Reek brand, or Reek Reich uh, caravan mover, which consists of this roller here. Um, the later models, this is an earlier model, uh, the later models have an aluminium roller with grooves in it and um, it simply is driven by a 26 to 1 ratio uh, gearbox electric motor and um, this roller um, engages with the tyre to enable it to uh, push the caravan along. So how does that work you say? Well let's have a look. So you'll see down here there's a bolt and on that there's a shaft that runs through to the other side. Um, and you simply put a crank on it or similar and you engage this thing by this drives the roller in against the wheel. You've just got to figure out which way it goes like that. And as you can see here the um, wheel moves in. All the moves in. And uh, that's it, it's engaged. Now that's driven in the roller on both sides, not just one side. And it's, it's now ready to move that. So this, I'll just check this. So it's right, right on it. And then with the use of this remote control, which is start up, you can drive the caravan forward, which and you'll see you've got left, right, you can turn it in its own length, etc. I'm not going to push it because I've got it sitting on the jack, but basically only stays on for 10 seconds. That's it there, you can see it moving. So this will just drive the uh, caravan around. So that is how, well you know, I'm not going to go into how that works, but anyway, that's the uh, caravan mover. So here's the problem. This jockey wheel, hey, I've just changed it um, because I had a shorter one on. This one came with it, and as you can see, considerably smaller. Um, and the reason that was, was the van was lower. I've, I've since changed this because it was just too low. It was it was purposely ordered that way by the previous owner to fit in his um, limited roof space or his carport. Sorry, not his roller door. It was um, a set height and he needed to get it in. It's a pop-top fan. But anyway, I've picked up this um, longer jockey wheel because part of the problem with this was when I uh, wound it, this handle would catch on the... Uh, front here when I you know because the van was now higher the wheel had to be further down in the clamp because we've we've gained about a hundred millimeters 
or a bit over 140 millimetres so the wheel sat a lot lower and that would clang on top of that handle so that's one thing the addition of the electric motors um, is the second problem because when you're driving the van around using the motors you're using this as the steering wheel now at the front where when you're towing with a vehicle um, this is your vehicle's doing all the steering this isn't engaged at all you don't have a jockey wheel on it so now you're relying on this jockey wheel it takes the full weight of the um, front of the van and it's got a turn and so that's fine on a hard surface I had to put a bigger clamp on it because the uh, existing clamp was inadequate which was this thing um, absolutely hopeless clamp it just this thing just moved all over the place in it it would sit at about 15 degrees off vertical and it would shift around as you as you moved around a lot of quite a bit of stress goes onto that front wheel so I so I picked this one up I've still got my old got my old wheel here my old jockey wheel stem so the plan now is to make this a jewel and there's, there's jewels around from um, a couple of manufacturers, Arc and uh, uh, Magnatech I think and a couple others, but they don't, um, they don't make one like this, they're all swing up and I can't fit this, I can't swing this up, I can't swing anything up in that distance, yeah, that's no good at all. So the plan is to take this down and make this a double, so I'm going to get someone to do that. So the problem is the existing bracket that it comes with only requires this rather short bolt. But anyway, I've addressed that this morning. I went and went around the nut and bolt suppliers and I found a correct size one that will go through both of these. Um, not sure how this is going to go together yet because I've got to take this down to my friend who will fabricate something for me. So the plan is to, based on what I've seen on the net, uh, cut this arm, cut this off here. Don't know, we might cut this off here yet. Uh, but anyway, cut this off here and out of these two we fabricate a double uh, a double back bracket so maybe that plate will be welded on we weld these two together because this is an Elco and this is Magnatech so they're different aren't they? Of course, yes of course uh, wheels are the same pretty much might be a slight difference but that actually could work in my favour if the wheels aren't exactly the same because I only really want this to be on two wheels when it's on dirt to give me the additional um, surface area and when you're on concrete, it's actually be better on uh, a single wheel. So I'm not too worried about there being a slight diam diameter difference, um, which there may be. It doesn't look like it. They 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 look pretty identical. This one's a bit more worn. That's all. So that's the plan. So we'll see how this ends up. This is a much better. Uh, this is a much better wheel than um, than this small magnetic was doing with this and it should never have had a standard clamp I suggest that that is totally inadequate for a caravan given that you have significant ball loads you know 150 kilos or more um, this is uh, this thing here is totally inadequate not the not the wheel the clamp that clamp is useless because it does not it, it does not a snug fit around that this one's much better there's still a bit of slop in it but it's um, and it's important because it does get those stresses as you drive the van forward with the electric motors, it will it will push against this. It's got to turn the wheel, and that pushes against this clamp um, and puts a fair bit of stress on it. So you need something a, a lot more substantial. So yeah, I guess maybe this was okay, but even with this on, moving it around on the wheel, the wheel would bend quite significantly. It'd sit on angles like this, and yeah, not very good. So that's the plan. We'll see what we come back with. So I think out of uh, cutting both of these up, we'll be able to fabricate off. What we might do is take that leg off, move it out, using the top of this one, weld them together. So I don't know. I'll leave it to him to figure that out. He's a, he's a mechanical um, genius. So we'll see how we go with this and see what we end up with. But that'll be my solution for the wheel with the caravan mover. Alright, 
So I'll come back to this when we've uh, completed the modifications to the wheel and we'll see how it looks like and give it a bit of a test run. See how it goes. Alrighty, here it is. Two wheels in one. So, just you remember what that looks like since you've just been watching it. So you can see what, what he's done here. He's, um, he's, he's actually cut both of the sides off. Hang on, I'll get the other one. So you can see here, he's, he's cut the, um, take the wheel out, cut this off here and here. Got a new piece of plate. So this is a new piece of about nearly probably eight mil, eight mil steel plate. You put in here, welded these back on, the two legs back on, and a little uh, probably kept that middle bit. Looks like he's kept that centre section here from the original wheel. So this one's the uh, Elko uh, with the extended length on it. So he's kept that middle bit, cut the two bits off the outside, so that was the original, this is the original length of the, uh, of this thing. Two, put the two sides on there, I've got a new bolt as you recall, and uh, that's it, it's uh, made. So, as I said, the problem was I can't put a swing up on, which is the only, you can get dual wheel swing up on it. Uh, not available as a removable wheel, which which this is now. So probably need to trim that bolt a little bit. There's, uh, as you can see, they're slightly different. The wheels. There's uh, had about five mil total gap here, and uh, just to make sure the wheel's not touching on the sides of this anywhere, we've put uh, a couple of washer, a couple of washers there. Didn't worry about the middle and uh, lock nut. And it's uh, well and truly solid and very similar to um, what he's fabricated up, pretty similar to uh, what I saw from um, Arc and uh, Magnatech, you know, where he's made all this quite substantial, quite because it's got quite a lot of load on it as it, um, as it works. So I'll put that, um, I'll put this on the van and we'll see how it goes with the uh, motors. As you can see, this locks in across here. So it should be quite substantial as that one only had a single uh, piece to really lock it vertically. This one's got both of those in it. So I'm pretty optimistic this will uh, this will work okay. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, take the jacks off and come back and we'll try moving it around. And we'll see how it goes. But it looks good. Alrighty, there we go, wheels on, jacks are off, we're ready to give it a bit of a run. So using our remote control here. Certainly uh, looks good, doesn't bend. That's good, looks nice and stable. Now this is the big test, is turning. Yep, looks good. That looks very good. So as you can see the uh, Jockey wheel's not bending now. And it pivots. So it turns around on concrete. I guess uh, that's a bit expected. So anyway, that works.
I got pretty happy with that. Yep. Yeah, I reckon that's good. This is always the big uh, problem here when you reverse direction. This is when it puts all the stress on the wheel. Uh, because it's got a swivel and you've got the whole weight of the caravan pushing against that wheel. I'm just playing with uh, turning as I go here just to uh, see how it handles it. See, she's leaving a little bit of rubber on the ground, but that's supposed to be expected on concrete. Not too worried, you can always buy spare wheels. This is heaps better. This is really good compared to that other bloody single wheel thing I had. It was hopeless. Doing a great job. So, here we go. So um, we've seen the caravan mover working, this is it here, but I guess we can have another look at that, see how it's working. Uh, I'll just to zoom in on that a little bit and then we can show that going. These are a bit worn these rollers, I've got to re-coat uh, them, that'll be a project yet to do in the future, I've got to find something to put on it because uh, kit you buy from the UK is ridiculous price but that's how it works and it just drives those wheels around so um, yeah pretty simple pretty simple how it works well that's good I reckon that's uh, pretty much nailed it very happy with all of that I'm very happy with me wheel I think that's good so um, we'll see how it goes. I'm taking going on a camping trip in a couple of weeks. We'll be, it'll be interesting to see how well the wheel works in the dirt. That'll be the next test. But it really makes uh, moving the van around a piece of cake. These uh, caravan movers, they're the best thing ever. And uh, you probably can't see it, but I've, I've got this in my driveway front first, which uh, makes it extremely difficult to steal. When you, very difficult to do that without a caravan mover. But, um, and then the cars are behind it, but uh, very difficult to, uh, to steal the bloody caravan with it the way it is. So, um, yeah, there we go. One new jockey wheel. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the stuff I'm doing. Don't know what's up next. I'm sure something will occur to me. So there you go. The dual wheel, modified, non-swing up, Elko jockey wheel. Well, combination Elko. But anyway, the wheels are the same size. Magnatech and Elko, obviously, because that's what those two are. But the brackets are slightly different, so... Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Quick summary on this project, just to cover off all those things. I had to get a new jockey wheel because the existing one was too short and it was hitting the toe ball as I adjusted. Um, I had to get a better clamp because the standard clamps really were designed for just a little box trailer, not for a caravan. So I don't even know why that was on it in the first place. It was totally inadequate. But maybe, yeah, I don't know, shouldn't have been on it. Uh, so, my choices were to try and get a dual wheel because from, uh, you know, obviously the greater the contact area on the ground, the less likely it is for that jockey wheel to dig in, which the, the uh, caravan mover pushes the wheel into the dirt, particularly when it's trying to turn it. It's a real issue. But if that ground's um, sandy or um, slightly damp, um, it will just bury itself. Uh, that's always going to be a problem when, as you saw, when it turns on concrete, it's okay, it's, it's, it's solid. Um, you really have to have the wheel, help the wheel a little bit when you're turning or turn gradually uh, in dirt. But it's solid dirt, I think this will be much better. It's certainly fixed all the problems. Jockey wheel was 40 bucks and it was virtually brand new. Uh, and 
the height I wanted, so that was good. Uh, that was the entire cost was 40 bucks. The mechanic did the work on that for me, did a great job. Um, I just gave him the wheel, told him what I wanted. He did everything else, worked it all out, and got the plate and everything and gelded it and everything. Uh, so that was 100 bucks. So $140 has got me a dual wheel jockey wheel, a dual jockey wheel. Uh, I can't see one on the net under 270 bucks, and they're all swing ups. Now, I probably could have got a swing up modified it. Well, you know, you've got to go and buy another bracket. I mean, you know, I would have been out of pocket $300, I'm sure. So this is great, 100 and, 140 bucks, and I'm done. It's ideal. Great, works fantastic. So that was just a quick summary. That's what the costs were. Um, and, you know, there's plenty of these jockey wheels around. So anyone else is contemplating doing it, I suggest you do it that way. That's just easy, works. And you can't get that if you've got weight distribution it, you've got the same problem I've got, I guess. Alrighty, that's it. So yeah.